Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over one of my favorite ChatGPT blog post prompts. In fact, let me show you it right here. We're going to have the steps. So first thing we're going to be doing is creating some titles, using that title to create an outline. Then we write introduction paragraphs. Then we write a few paragraphs for the middle sections along with a conclusion. That's the video. That's it. That's done. Have a nice day. Just kidding. I'm going to walk through and show you how it actually works and how it comes out. Give you some more tips while we're going through it because you can take this and use it. Of course, you'll run with it. But when you see an example, it'll help you uh, give you more ideas to the process. So I need 10 unique titles for an article about X. X can be pretty much anything. Thing, the more niche down you get, the better. Like you could just say about improving golf, you know, but you could say, I want to improve my putting in ways that I can do that specifically. So, uh, just as an example. All right. So, I put how to build an online business from scratch. That's what this example is going to be geared around. Obviously, replace that with what you want to talk about or create a blog about. All right. And I actually like the first one here, starting from scratch, a step-by-step -step guide to building an online business. Uh, there's plenty more. I'm going to keep that here. You can always pause it. You know, you can read them at your own leisure. I'm not going to read through them all. So I'm going to copy this. And remember what we had here was write a blog post outline for an article called and whatever title we're going to use here, let's just paste it right on in and go from there. All right. And we got a pretty good outline right here. Uh, so introduction is going to be first. And if we look right here, I copy this. So let's copy that write an introduction paragraph about X. You probably don't even have to put the title there if you want. I mean, it's up to you. I think the chat GPT knows you know, what it's going to be about, but just to make sure. And then I put, make sure that you include, this is going to be good if you want to use the ideas that the outline gives you. For example, if you want an explanation of the importance of building an online business in your intro, you'll probably want to put that, right? Or maybe you want a brief overview of the steps that will be covered in the guide. So let's just say I want to use this one. So I'm going to copy that and make sure that you include, and you can do like bullet points if you want, not really a, a big deal how you format it. So I'll uh, write an introduction paragraph. You can also say write a few paragraphs, depends on how long you want your intro to be. Make sure you're just very specific with that. So uh, let's generate the content now. It's a great way to turn your passion into a career with the rise of e-commerce. Uh, it's more accessible than ever. However, it can be overwhelming. That's why I've created this guide. So if you're a beginner, you got some experience, it's for you and so on and so forth. Good. So next up is going to be the step that's going to be repeated multiple times. I will just do it once. So now that we have our intro, this is going to be the meat and potatoes of the blog, obviously. So if I highlight these, um, these paragraphs here. So what we want to do is defining your business idea. So write a couple paragraphs about what this is about, right? So defining your business idea. Make sure that you include... And I'm going to put these here, A, B, and C, you can keep it like that. So remember, you don't always have to use these. If you have something in mind, so defining your business idea, maybe there's something that's not written here, something very important you want to touch upon, put that down below. Okay. This is going to ensure that that main topic is actually talked about so that you can get the best article, at least in your opinion. So we're talking about the importance of having a clear and specific business idea, tips for brainstorming and refining your idea, and how to conduct market research to validate your idea. Ironically enough, you can do market research with ChatGPT. I did a completely different video about that. Anyway, let's uh, roll with this. All right, perfect. So we got a couple of paragraphs. Well, we got a few. We got three, right? So having a clear and specific business idea, so defining it right here, clear and specific, it's crucial for setting up your success, provide a sense of direction. Then we have tips for brainstorming, which is right here when brainstorming it. Uh, it's important to think about your skills, interests, and problems you want to solve. And of course, how to conduct market research. You can validate it and it talks about it right there. Perfect. So that's literally everything we asked for. So what you would be doing here is repeating the process with the paragraphs. Like I said, once you do it once, you can do the same thing. So write a few paragraphs about building your website. Make sure that you talk about, you know, you can use these main points or you can replace them with any of your own. Then last but not least, once we do that one, 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 we move to the conclusion. So I believe I copied this. Great. Write a conclusion paragraph. Make sure that you include, there we go, summary of the steps covered in the guide, encouragement to take action, and additional resources. So once again, if there was something you wanted at the end for a blog post, maybe it's a call to action. Maybe it's like, hey, check out this link for my free resource for a coaching call, for a webinar, for an affiliate product, whatever it might be, you can add it right there. You know, say for example, we don't want additional resources. Give me a sec. I'm going to rewrite this. 
All right, so I put end with a call to action to sign up for my free webinar about starting an online business. It makes sense, right? This whole blog post is about starting an online business from scratch. So if you have something relevant and they read all the way down there and they loved it, there's a very good chance they're not only going to click on it, but sign up for it. That's how you can really get high conversions, okay? Not as many people are going to see it if it's all the way down there, but the people who do are going to be very uh, likely to opt in for it, okay? So let's go with that. All right, perfect. So summary, building an online business requires a clear and specific idea, a website, a presence, and marketing strategy, and a plan for scaling your business. Uh, let's see, encouraging. Let's see, make informed decisions. It's important to remember that it takes time and effort, dedication, and persistence. Uh, you can turn your business idea into reality. And then, of course, remember that you don't have to do it alone. Sign up for our free webinar about starting an online business and get access to valuable information and support to help you succeed. Take the first step towards building your online business. Perfect. Exactly as we drew it up. So that's going to be the prompt and the method when it comes to utilizing this. I'll quickly go over it again. So if you really have trouble finding some titles, uh, this will help you out. If you already know what you have in mind, you can skip that first step. But once you do it, you're going to write an outline and then you're going to put the title in there so it knows what to talk about. Then this is going to be the one, uh, excuse me, not this one, intro paragraph about the title. Make sure you include, you don't have to have this section. If you want chat GPT just to write something, you'll get something. But the more specific you are, the better results you get. This is going to be the step that you're going to have to do a few times. You're going to write a paragraph for each specific section. Once again, include the aspects that you want. And last but not least is going to be the conclusion. It's pretty repetitive, pretty easy, pretty simple. If you ask me, it's just this is going to be the prompt. And this will most certainly help you write a a blog post, an article, or even anything else. It could be a video script, any other type of script, a social media post. It's going to be up to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Hope you got some value out of this. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.